I'm just going to do an update. Uh, where, what I'm looking for, and, and I know it's very boring out there because we're just stuck around the 38, 3900 area. And uh, we've been like this all week. Uh, this is a weekly chart. And as you can see here, uh, the main geometry that we have is right there. Boom, 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 boom. So we got five points of interest off of this with a break. So this is all bullish. And what we're looking for is a move up to here more than likely. Um, that uh, gives us the greater probability from what I can see and where we are historically. Uh, but there's still a very good chance that we could, you know, move up and then drop right back down. So I have to keep my options open uh, and not get too aggressive in this range. I, I want to see something happen. Um, it's really not interesting until it gets under the 3600 area or over the 4300 area. So, um, again, we're just sticking here and, and pretty much doing nothing. And I don't have anything of value here. The lack of volatility is extreme. It is just, you know, drifting is the only way to, to put it. But it's very boring, and uh, that's up to the market. I don't get to decide that, and I'll just keep waiting till I see something of value. Right now, we just got sideways upward action, slightly upward. Uh, I want to see a break of these numbers here before I start going over and looking for real uh, entry points to go over and, and trade, and also some develop of geometry. If we look at a short-term chart, let's look at like, maybe a two hour chart and whatnot. We can see that we just have sideways movement mostly. One big spike down, one big spike up, and it happens very quick and then we're just drifting. So again, nothing really there to trade and uh, we just have to wait. Um, I would like to see some geometry form of something other than just this choppy, drifting sideways action. So I'll just keep waiting and uh, I will talk to you guys later.